Welcome back to Galaxy Defenders. We're doing mission one of the campaign. We have one more uh, teleporter on fire. We got to get up here and somehow destroy that one. And that'll win us the scenario. We only have so many turns left to do it though. I think we have maybe five turns left. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we have basically five entire rounds to try and do that. Okay, so uh, first of course we have the refresh phase where our Marine gets his Guardian token back. And unfortunately, this blue Xeno Beta gets his shield regenerated, which is not good. And if he moves, he'll be regenerating health too, which is bad. Okay, up next we have to decide who is going to be the alpha uh, player for this turn, who's going to go first. And we have a... Hmm... Do you know what? I, I think we are going to have our biotech go first. He's currently engaged with the blue Xeno Beta. And that could be a bad move, but I think we're going to have him going first. He has two damage of eight health. We have our Marine has five damage of ten health. And we have one damage on our Sniper of six health. So we're not in the greatest of shape. So... Let's zoom down, and we're going to have our biotech take a turn. I'd really love for him to use his shotgun, which he could shoot right at the blue uh, spine critter. But I think he's going to do an, um, what do we call those, an evade. He's going to evade that blue spine critter. He's going to use his action and his combat to evade this guy. And then he's going to move, and he has a movement of four because we don't have any weather effects. He's going to go one, two, three, four, right into the face of the green Xeno Beta. Yes, that's his entire action because he did a combat and action to uh, get away from the blue Z, or the blue spy critter, went around the flaming. Uh, oh, hang on, and yes, this is destroyed. I should mention that. That was on fire, and now it's a, a strategy phase that gets destroyed. So we just have the one. I want to get him over there if I can. This might be tricky because we don't know what's going to be spawning. All right, that was it. So now we have to go to a close encounter card and see which aliens are going to activate. And wow, did we get lucky? Quiet Dawn activate no aliens. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Okay, we dodged a major league bullet there. And now we have to figure out who is going to be going next. And I think we're going to have probably, no, it's our biotech goes, then our marine goes. So our marine is going next. He doesn't have a jammed weapon for once. Thank goodness. Um, okay, let's have him take his turn. Okay, let's go ahead and have him do a move. And he can move four, so he's going to go one, two, three, four to the center of here. And he will then take a shoot action. So that was his movement. His action, he's going to go ahead and put on his advanced gun barrel. So we ignore any jam symbols, because that's good. He still has three ammunition. He also has this basic tactic, giving him plus one ammo. But that costs an action. He's not doing it. He's using his barrel for this action. And then he's going to be attacking with his rifle. So he hits three red dice. And if he rolls uh, any lightning bolts, that means the blue spy critter gets one less defense uh, die to roll. All right, I'm going to back out a little bit so I can get the dice tray in here. We're going to roll up that attack. And I'm zooming out a long way so that I can actually get the dice tray on. Uh, oh, God, is I, that's the trouble. Try and get the dice tray on there. All right, we can see that. Or he's going to be rolling three red dice with his machine gun, his rifle, and... Oh, dang it, he uh, doesn't get any jam symbols. He gets a lightning bolt, so this guy's going to roll one less die. So he's got one, two, three hits, and he's only going to roll two defense dice. However, we do need to spend one of our three ammunition, Ugh, because we rolled the bullet symbol. But there you go. All right, so three damage. Uh, three damage, and he is only going to roll two defense dice because of that special ability on the rifle from our Marine. So, come on, no defense, no defense. And he gets no defense. He gets a skull, and he gets a hit symbol. So that was an actually a really good attack. We put three damage on the blue spine critter. Didn't kill it, though, because they have four health. Oh, and if we look here, they don't have anything for defense, so... Four. If he had three health, he'd be gone. Nice shooting from the Marine, but 
Not good enough. All right, and then now it is time for, yep, our Close Encounter card. Um, Frenzy, activate all aliens at zero range. <laughs> Holy God. Oh no, we do have one at zero range. Wow, we are getting really, really lucky, but that's okay. This guy is going to hightail it out of here because if we look at the green Xeno Beta, uh, zero range, move away two areas. So he's going to try to get away and he's probably going to go one, two over to here. So he'll go one, two, and he'll actually go over here. So he's kind of out of line of sight. Of anyone else so he just runs away so that was our activation and yeah he takes his two damage with him because we want to make sure if we could take him out he'll be out of here wow up last then we have our sniper going uh, what do we want to do with him he's got three uh, no he's got two ammunition left only one damage all right gonna think about what we're gonna do with our sniper and have him take his turn Okay, I'm liking his position because right now he does not have line of sight. These two guys don't have line of sight to him and they don't have, they, these two have no line of sight to anybody. This one has line of sight to both our Marine and our Cyber. So the Sniper has a bead on the blue Spine Critter. So he's going to start off with a combat action. Take a Sniper shot at him. Rolling four red dice has a range of four so one two three no problem for range so let's go ahead and have him go ahead and roll that now he's got a passive ability it says may skip movement to re-roll all failed dice so let's see if we need to do that now we just need to do one damage on this guy and if we roll a lightning symbol we ignore all jam symbols on the gun and what do we get what do we get? What do we get? We get a GD, which is nothing. We get that, which we can't re-roll. Um, so bottom line is we do two hits. Okay, and we're not going to... We're not going to use the passive ability to skip our movement. I think, do we want to move? We don't want to move. We actually don't want to move. You know what? We will skip our movement. We're going to stay where we are. We'll skip our movement to go ahead and re-roll. The one that we can re-roll. Maybe we'll get some more hits. All right. And if we get a jam symbol, it doesn't matter because we have lightning bolts. <laughs> and you can only ever re-roll dice once. So there we go. So it looks like we have two possible hits on the blue spine critter. Come on, don't get two shields. Don't get... He gets nothing again. Wow, this guy is smelling blood and he just has no defense. That's two more damage on the blue spine critter. It is destroyed. The sniper pops it off and it's out of here. Giving us another piece of the alien puzzle. We got two now. Remember we need four to cash it in for an up or for a uh, reinforcement. We have only an action. Oh no, our action was, oh no, that passive ability uh, which just means we skipped our move. We have an action, but there's nothing we can do with our action at all. So we're just going to stay there. That's the end of the sniper's turn. Uh, and we've been so lucky with this, and I shouldn't have said that. All right, and our next is activate all oh, spine critters. We don't have any spine critters. Unbelievable. Wow. We just absolutely, completely, and 100% totally lucked out this time. Um, that's the end of all of our three players turns up next will be our event card so as my battery starts to die we're going to come back we're going to flip up another event card for the end of this round which was very quick all right it is event time and we get uh alien plans two agents each discard one bullet what come off it um Oh, that's not good. Uh, currently, our uh, biotech has three ammo. Our sniper has two, and our marine has two. Oh, man, that is painful. I have to think about who we're going to nerf uh, ammo for. That's, that's a horrible card. 
I don't know. That's just a, that's. I hate cards like that. Just yeah, you just lose ammo. Why did we lose ammo? It got sand in it. I don't know. Anyway, it is what it is. I think there's another card somewhere in the deck where you gain an ammo. So it wasn't this one. Uh, I think. Ah oh man, I think we are. He does not have any other weapons. I don't want to put both of these guys down to one though. This guy has a plus one ammo though. So yeah, we're gonna burn one off the marine. So that will knock him down to one. And I think then we probably are going to take one off of the biotech. I know he's got no other weapons except a healing gun. That leaves our sniper with two, our marine with a possible two. So it leaves everybody with two. I think that's the best way to do it. All right, let's take a look at the rest of that card. Ooh, that was painful. Uh, all signals move on area 12. There's no signals, so we don't care about that. Uh, of course. Ah, oh, come on. Teleporting in two aliens? <sighs> okay. We don't even have to roll for the teleport dice because there's only one teleporter on the board, and it's right here. And our biotech has a line of sight directly to the teleporter and the space. So, yeah, he's got a line of sight basically... Everything that shows up is just going to automatically show up there. So, we don't even need to put signals out. We just will automatically, both of these will just up here. And our first one is a green Xenobeta, which is going to be joining the other green Xenobeta with our biotech, for card-wise anyway. So, we get a green Xenobeta, just materializes there on the transporter, and yeah, we get another one. God, we got to blow that one up, and there's going to be a whole bunch of aliens swarming around there. And... We get a, oh, a green spine critter. Nobody has a green spine critter, so let's put the green spine critter with the blue Xeno Beta with the sniper, leaving the marine with just one blue. Oh, hang on, the blue spine critter. Okay, never mind. The green spine critter has to go to our marine because that one was destroyed. All right, that's going to be it. Uh, let me think about what else we're doing here. I think that's it. Um... So yeah, Green Spine Critter is going to show up here, just like this. And that's going to be the end of our episode. So let me readjust the camera and wrap it up for today. Alright, well that's going to wrap up our episode for today. So currently we have everybody not in line... Well, this guy's in line of sight of, the, of these two, I do believe. Yeah, the green... Ugh, okay interesting but anyway we'll see what happens that's gonna wrap us up so we took out an alien we got an extra piece we need two more to get another reinforcement we're getting a little bit low on ammo we're a little bit low on health we just need to get somebody over to that transporter pad and light it on fire so my strategy for next time is to try to get rid of the spine critter because these guys will run away uh, if, and they're within one, so this guy would shoot and then move away, leaving the transporter exposed for someone to come in there and actually take it out. This guy, of course, is going to try to engage you, uh, so that's not the best. So anyway, thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. This is Galaxy Defenders. We're doing the campaign mission one, Close Encounters, I think it's called. Or Alien Encounters, Close Encounters. There's 12 missions in the book. There's a lot of them. <laughs> so this, you get a lot of money, or a lot of game for your money. If you can even find this anymore, I'm not sure. I don't know if they're ever going to do another uh, Kickstarter for this, or reprint it, or what have you. Because it came out, I think, a long time ago. So anyway, thanks so much, and thanks for watching along, and hope to see you tomorrow for the continuation.